Good morning class, it's me Sir Nesty. Yung lesson natin ngayon ay related siya sa force and gravity. Actually, itong lesson ngayon plus yung force and gravity ay pareho-pareho silang nasa uh, physics. Ang physics class ay branch ng science that deals with energy and matter and their interactions. So, wag na nating patagalin pa class. Focus tayo ngayon sa energy, uh, specifically sound, heat, and light energy. Dahil nasasabi ko yung word na energy na yun, class, syempre, uh, i-define muna natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng energy. Yung energy class ay the capacity to do work. Yun yung naririnig na natin, yun yung naaral natin last time. Here in grade 6 science, energy is the capacity of objects to exert force and do work. Okay, tandaan yan. Energy is the capacity of objects to exert force and do work. Unahin natin ang sound or sound energy. Okay, sound is produced in different ways. O yung tunog, marami tayo yung naririnig ng mga sounds. Iba't ibang klase ng sounds. Pwede kang pumalakpak, kapag may nahulog na libro, ayan, sound. Sa mga instruments, merong sound yan. Okay, some musical instruments, katulad ng percussions, di ba, yung tambol, maganda yung napoproduce na sound. Dito, ang sabi dito, class, sound produced this way come from the kinetic energy. Okay? Kinetic energy lost when moving bodies collide. Yung kinetic energy class ay isang klase ng energy wherein ito lang yung energy of motion. Pag merong gumalaw, merong kinetic energy. Yung potential energy on the other hand naman, ito yung stored energy or energy at rest. In this case, class, itong kinetic energy ay uh, lost when moving bodies collide, therefore producing sound. Okay? So, from kinetic energy to sound energy. Another way to make sound is by making vibrations. When you speak, sing, or hum, your vocal cords vibrate. Yung pag sinabi natin class na vibration, ito yung back and forth movement ng mga particles. Kung paano nag-vibrate yung vocal cords, Kaya tayo nakakapagsalita, kaya nakakapagproduce tayo ng iba't ibang tunog. Also, wind instruments, katulad ng trumpet, trombone, etc., flute, ayan, string instruments, merong gitara. Okay, sa speaker, yung ginagamit natin pag nagpapatugtog tayo ng ating mga favorite music, merong uh, nagbabibrate dyan, yung diaphragm, ito yon diaphragm, kaya nakakaproduce ng tunog. Kapag nag-vibrate yung diaphragm na nasa speaker, actually class, may papasa yon sa air molecules. Ibig sabihin, magbabibrate din yung air molecules. Kaya ito yung movement, no? merong back and forth, nagbabibrate, naipasa yung energy na galing sa speaker, sa air molecules. Kaya naman naririnig natin. Okay, ang ating tenga, napaka-importante yan kasi ito ay very sensitive sa tunog at merong very sensitive membrane dyan, tinatawag natin dyang eardrum. Yan yung part na responsible para tayo ay makarinig. Okay? Nagbabibrate din po yung eardrum. Yung tatlong bones dyan, yung hammer, anvil, and stirrup, carry the energy to the brain. Okay, so nagbabibrate ang eardrum. Then we have the small bones to carry the energy papunta sa auditory nerve. Ayan, diretso yan sa ating brain. Heat naman, ano yung heat? Yung heat class ay merong uh, fact dito na kung saan lahat ng matter ay made up of molecules. Totoo naman, lahat yan ay made up of molecules. And in constant motion, gumagalaw yung mga molecules, yung mga particles na yan. Okay, kapag gumalaw yun, syempre, anong form of energy? It's kinetic. Kinetic energy. Energy in motion. Kahit, kahit sobrang liit, kahit sobrang liit ng mga particles, merong kinetic energy kasi energy in motion. So, the sum of the kinetic energies of the molecules in an object, so lahat-lahat na po, if, if you add up the kinetic energies sa molecules na yun, okay, is its, actually, is, is its, uh, thermal energy. Okay? Thermal energy. Now, itong thermal energy na to ay matatransfer or kayang matransfer to another object. 
if the energy is in transit, okay, kapag na-transfer na, 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 na or nata-transfer na, we call that heat. Okay, heat lang. Heat. H-E-A-T. Sir, pwede po ba namin sabihin na heat energy? Uh, hindi na po. Heat na lang. Okay, kasi ang heat, energy na yun. Okay, heat. Sana po wala akong marinig. Huwag po kayo magsulat ng heat energy kasi redundant na yun. Or heat na lang. When heat is absorbed, it turns into thermal energy. Tandaan yan, ha? When heat is absorbed, pag na-absorb yung heat, it turns into thermal energy. Kaya meron kang metal spoon, kutsara, okay, nilagay mo sa hot coffee kasi gustong mag-steer ng mainit na kape, lalong-lalo sa umaga, masarap yan. Okay? Heat from the water, yung mainit na, o yung init na galing sa mainit na kape, matatransfer yun sa kutsara. Kaya pag hinawakan natin yung kutsara, init din. As the spoon absorbs the heat, okay, anong nangyayari kaya sa molecules? Magbabibrate. Sobrang bilis po ng pagbibrate. Pag naabsorb ng kutsara yung heat, dahil doon, tataas o mabilis din yung pagtaas ng kinetic energy. Next naman ay light. Ano kaya itong light? Siyempre, light, liwanag yan. And very good example natin, ang araw. Siyempre, wala nang iba. Yan lang yung common na pagising natin sa umaga, may, may liwanag agad sa kapaligiran. Di ba? Energy from the sun reaches in you in the form of light. Yung light ay tinatawag ding radiant energy. Okay, that travels by electromagnetic waves. Pag-aaralan natin, class, or hindi pala, pag-aaralan nyo, class, ang electromagnetic waves pagdating nyo ng grade 7. Okay, grade 7 yan. Basta ngayon, ang importante, yung light or radiant energy nagtatravel yan by electromagnetic waves. The sun's energy travels as visible light. Okay, yung nakita nating liwanag glass, that's the visible light. It is the only electromagnetic wave that can be seen by the naked eye, kaya tinawag na visible light. So, marami pa kasing klase ng electromagnetic waves. Um, X-ray, microwave, radio wave, ayan. Kasama na dyan ang visible light. Yung visible light lang, yung kaya nating makita. Infrared, ayan, ultraviolet. The sun also gives off other types of EM wave, hindi lang visible light. Uh, Ine-emit din o binibigay din ng araw ang ultraviolet rays at infrared rays. And ang light energy cannot move object on its own, syempre. Kailangan pong matransform yung light energy into another form of energy. Syempre, kung gusto nating paggalawin tong uh, solar-powered cars, ang gagawin niya lang, class, ay i-convert nitong solar panel yung light energy from light energy into or to electricity or electrical energy. And then kapag meron ng kuryente, yan, aandar na yan. Makakatakbo na yan. Okay? Ibig sabihin, bago ka makapagpatakbo ng sasakyan, syempre in the form of electrical energy muna yan or electricity. Ang solar panel na na-install sa ating mga kabahayan, di ba, magandang source ng alternative energy dahil hindi na tayo, alam mo yun, hindi na de-depende sa Meralco, sa power plant. Direkta na mismo sa init ng araw and then yung init ng araw, matatransform yun into electricity. So that's light energy. So ayun lamang, sound, heat, and light. I like